Here are some um, examples for some of the problems uh, that we have on the uh, related rate uh, worksheet. The 48 problems that I, I made up for you, and they're in sets of four. Each of the sets is the same type of problem. So this is going to be for problems one through four. So this is the type of problem we have, and this is the spherical balloon problem. And uh, I'll, this will be in the um, this is the related rates video examples page, and uh, this will be in the um, homework folder. So you can, uh, and as a PDF, so you can take a look at this if you if you want to have it out to kind of follow the notes. Okay, a spherical balloon is being inflated at the rate of 14 uh, pi cubic feet per second. At what rate is a the radius and b the surface area increasing when the radius is two feet? So again, we ask that you draw a sketch. To show sure your work neatly. Support all your uh, all your work with all your answers with work. So what we have first of all is that the um, read the, again read the problem carefully, and then what do we have? It says it's being inflated at the rate of 14 cubic feet. So since we see 14 pi cubic feet, we have 14 pi cubic feet per second. Okay, then we'll have to think, realize that that's going to be a volume. This is a volume, so this is going to be dv dt. So we're given dv dt equals 14 pi. Okay, and they also want to know when this is happening. This is going to be changing depending on what r is. r is the only variable in a sphere, so that's nice. So we know that when r is equal to 2 feet, these are all feet. And then we want to find out A, the radius. So A, we want to find out how fast the radius is changing. And then B, the, uh, how fast the surface area is changing. We call that S for surface area. Okay. So that's what we're looking for, those... Uh, two things. So let's take a look at A first of all. So we do the A section over here. And we need a formula for the... Well, we've got the volume, so we're going to need to have a formula for the volume of a sphere. So we know the volume of a sphere equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. And the nice thing about this is that it's in one on unknown, so we have no problem in taking the derivative implicitly. So that's what we'll do. We'll take the derivative implicitly with respect to time, because this is how we're blowing up the sphere. It's going to be with respect to the time, and it's going to be the time of these seconds, feet per second. It would be the change of the radius. So we'd say the dv dt equals 4 thirds pi, and then what's the derivative of r cubed? So we're going to use the power rule. That's going to be 3r squared. Now we're taking the derivative of r with respect to t, so we're doing this as implicitly, implicitly, but since this is r with respect to t, this is kind of like the chain rule. So what's the derivative of r with respect to t? That would be dr dt. If we were taking the derivative of r with respect to r, it would be dr dr, and that would just be 1. But since it's with respect to t, time, that's going to be dr dt. So here's your implicit differentiation, here's your chain rule, and here's your power rule. So we're doing three things there, so make sure you're aware of that. And then we just can put in, we're just looking for dr dt, and we've got dv dt, that's the 14, and we got the r, which is 2, so we just substitute and solve, so it's pretty easy. Uh, dv dt is, let's put those in 14 pi. And that equals four, well actually the threes would become one, so that's just four pi. And then r squared r is going to be two. And then dr dt is what we're looking for. I should have simplified that right off from the get-go. Okay. 
And then we can divide both sides by, and 2 squared is 4, so I'll just divide both sides by 4 pi. So I've got 14 pi divided by 2 squared is 4, 4, oops, times 4, excuse me. I've got 4 times 4 is 16, so this is 16 pi. I should probably maybe write this out just, so, just in case. So this would be on the left. So 14 pi equals 4 times 4 is 16 pi dr dt. Then I'll divide both sides by the 16 pi. So I have 14 pi divided by 16 pi, and I could simplify that to be 7 over 8, and that will equal the dr dt. And my units will be feet per second. So there you go. All right? So that's pretty easy. Okay, if that all works for you. And then B, we want to find the surface area, so we need a formula for the surface area. So the surface area, I'll just call that S, of a sphere is just four circles, four pi r squared. So we want to find dsdt, how fast the surface area is changing when r is two. So ds dt equals 4 pi, and this is just going to be 2r, use the power rule, and then the chain rule with implicit differentiation, dr dt, which we already know that's going to be the 7 eighths feet per second. Now this is the 4 pi, but this is r is going to be, um, so we just 8 pi, so I'll just simplify it here a little bit. Yes. dt equals 2 times 4 is 8 pi r dr dt and then just substitute so ds dt and then equals 8 pi and then r is going to again be 2 and the dr dt we just figured out up here was 7 over 8 feet per second. Now this is in feet per second and this is 2 feet, so we have feet and feet per second. So if you follow your units, you're going to get feet squared, because feet times feet is feet squared, and you would figure that's what you would be for area. So now we have ds dt. equals, and then 8 over 8, I didn't multiply this, but we can simplify now, 8 over 8 is 1, so we just have 2 times 7 pi. So 2 times 7 is 14 pi, and that's going to be feet squared, because feet times feet. And then that's your change of the surface area. Okay? So that's not too, too bad. I hope that makes sense. Okay?